we are doing today, after a fun evening last night of drinking too much, thanks to my buddy, Jonathan Honefinger and his new winery, Wild Child. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, Madeline. Gotta thank your wife too, otherwise it's just not right and she'll stab me and kill me and it won't be fair and there'll be no more good food for her to eat other than the vegetarian food in Oregon. Not good. <laughs> so, short ribs. These came from Flannery. These aren't local. So just to give you a price comparative, this comparable here in, in Houston at most places other than Wagyu is about 30, 40 bucks. This is a hundred bucks. Big difference in price, different type of cow. It's like a dairy cow, which is a, I think it's a Holstein cow. One of those. But again, we do it the same. Good seasoning, salt and pepper, because it's a lot of meat. We're gonna brown everything. Let me turn this up a bit. Up to medium high. Oh, hold off on the pepper, but we'll do some garlic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Now, lovely, very lovely. Let's come on over here and watch these things cook up. You wanna do bone side up. One. No need to season this. You could season the sides. You can, no problems. You wanna do that. Now, here's what happens when you've got one thing left over. I've got something else cooking. <laughs> and here's what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the roast beef debris. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh huh. No, no, I didn't brown it, but guess what? It'll give it some nice flavor. There you go. Totally cool. What's my temp? Medium high. All right. Good, good. We're going to let these brown on all sides. It's too early yet. I'm tempted to pull them, but I just put them in, so I know it's not. Need about five minutes. You want to get a good sear, a good brown, always want to do that. And with this dish versus some other dishes, so with this versus like my roast beef for roast beef to bring, I'm going to use a wine reduction on this. So I'm going to cook, a, I'm going to take a bottle and I've got some right here. Get anything you want. I got some Chianti's. They're about $14 each. You know, nothing crazy. Yep. Uh, it's It's got a richness that I like. It's got a, a deeper pan into it. Um, for this kind of dish, for this kind of reduction, I'm gonna take this and just pour it down. I could flambe it, I probably will, because for some reason, when I do flambes online for Instagram or YouTube, it gets like eight million views. I, I don't know what it is, maybe it's a fire thing. People like fire. So we're gonna flambe this. Gotta find an opener first though. But we're not gonna flambe yet. And there's no need to decant this, because this is just gonna get poured inside. Easy. And again, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Madeline, for y'all's wines. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming into Houston for your tasting yesterday at Benology. So Jonathan's got a Chardonnay, he's got a Pinot, and a Gamay. He's also got a Riesling. I'm not a big Riesling fanatic. Nothing wrong with Riesling, people. I'm just not. I should have cut some of the fat off the top. I did not. My fault. My bad. Because I'm browning the oil versus the meat. So. I mean, the browning the fat versus the meat. It's okay. Come on. And you do not have to sear the bottom, guys, which is the bone. Don't sear the bone. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's just what we want. That's the color, guys. Good color. Excellent color. I'm tired. I really am. I'm beat. But, braised short ribs. Very yummy. I would say when you do these, you don't have to do these sides. You could. You could sit there and ow, get hit with oil. <laughs> and again, don't do the bottom. We don't care about the bottom. All right, so what do we need to do? These look pretty pretty good how I want them. I'm, I'm happy with the results so far. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. You see there's a lot of oil left behind. I'm going to get that up. Otherwise, you'll be skimming it off after the fact. 
you don't want to deal with that. So what I do is get Scott towels, paper towels, crunch them up, grab them, get in there and just, and I didn't add a lot of oil to this guys. A lot of this just comes from the meat itself. So I want to pick it up as much as you can. Good way to do it. You really only need about a tablespoon of oil and use your paper towels as much as you can. Yep. Mm -hmm. Turn this down to like a medium low for the moment. Walk it over, walk it over. Get some more. Get in there. Yeah. This makes it a lot easier. Come here. I don't need you. Good, good, good color. Thank you for cooperating. Look at that, very nice, yeah? Good. Nice, jump back up to medium. I do put garlic in, but I'm gonna do it after I do this sear. Otherwise, you'll burn the garlic on this. You could put another half onion in. I usually try to put a whole onion in. I'll do a little bit less this time, it's all right. Because a lot of the flavors coming from the meat and the broth and the wine and this residual on the bottom. Onions is giving a little bit more of a component. Just a little bit more. This is flambe time. What are we going to use? We're just going to use this. Yep. Pour the whole bottle in because I'm going to cook it down. It's all right. That's a horrible flambe. There it is. Well, almost. I should put some cognac in there. That'd make it easier than flambe. There you go, it's coming. Got the wine in there. All, all liqueurs and wines will sear up in flambe. What I'm doing is I'm trying to burn off as much of the alcohol as possible that I can and then reduce it down. It gives a nice, rich, intense flavor to everything. You don't have to flambe, you can just cook it down if you want to, but I like to burn off the alcohol on some dishes. Right, there you go, quick, done. Very nice. Now, lights back on, sorry. I've posted things on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook that are just like this, and they get X amount of views, totally cool. I do a flambe and it goes to like 30,000 people, instantaneous, but people like fire. <laughs> what do I know? Fire, it works. All right, this is good, we wanna cook this down. We're gonna cook it down, yeah, because I want it down to like a syrup. If you want, you can take these out in the interim, but it doesn't matter. You're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt the meat. It's gonna be totally fine, guys. Ladies, gentlemen. Again, bone side up. And when these things are cooking in the oven at 350 for several hours, they're gonna move around anyway. There's nothing you can do about it. Now look, the one I put in there, I should put back in here. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, get in there. Back in it goes. Nice. Nice. You want to get this down to almost a syrup. Not a syrup, but almost. All right, so I've got this down to the consistency I want. What I'm going to grab is come off. Again, we are at a consistency where it's reduced by about three-fourths, just where we want it. We flambe it off the alcohol. Oven's preset. What is my oven at? 350. We're gonna add in the beef stock, and now we've got this at a real nice, it's, it's not a syrup consistency, it's, it's above that. But we wanna add in the beef stock. Very nice. What I do wanna add in here are some garlic, some garlic. I'm not gonna crush these up, they're gonna fall apart on their own. Put about four in there. One, two, some big ones. Three, that's like three and a half. Need more stock. And while this cooks, you'll wanna check and make sure it doesn't need any more stock because it will have a tendency of cooking off. Find the biggest one, which is like this one and be, you know, bone side up. They're gonna roll around on their own. That's all you need, guys. Then we're gonna cover it. 
Turn the fire off. Off. It's fine. Good. One of my Lake sets I never use. Oven. 350. Yeah, 350. Mm -hmm. In the oven. Go on, get in there. Perfect. Hour and a half in, check it. See where the stock is. Add some more if necessary. You'll have to add some, trust me, you will. So, in the oven, 350. Two to two and a half hours. Pull them out about halfway through. Check for the stock. If you need to add some, add some in. You probably will. Put it back in, remove it. Remove all the meat, put it on the side. Reduce the stock, blend it in with a little blender. Reduce the stock down a little bit, then syrup over potatoes. Perfect. I'll send, we'll show a video later. Pretty short ribs right here. And this is one of the fun dishes always to make. I've gone ahead and taken off all the, uh, as much of the residual oil as I can. There's still a little bit left, but this is one of these dishes where just by itself, it's a wonderful dish. So let me get a big spoon, which will be important. Look at it. Just gonna get these, place them on there. A little small one. This is family style, so just put it up there. Everybody can go and eat it as they want. As they want. That's it. And then you have a nice thick gravy. We're gonna put right over the top, just goop. You have some options. You could do mushrooms and bacon with this, or porchetta, either way is good. But this by itself is wonderful. I have some potatoes, which we could put in the middle if we wanted to, they're right there. But I'm always like, eh, I'd rather just have the meat. It's always nice. But the beef, the carbohydrate component is very nice. And if you were setting it up just to have, oh, you'd just be like, scoop some potatoes. Right there. Some more. Put it in the middle. Just grab one of these. Put it right there. And right over the top. A wonderful place setting. And what we'll do is, as always, we'll choppy chop some garnish stuff. I always grab the hilt. Bray short ribs.